Okay, so in this video, I am looking at two specific Mustangs. So we see this page of muscle cars being for sale on CarMax, and December 2023 is where we're in. And the prices have started to slightly come back down from their all-time COVID highs. And the two that I'm looking at is this 2017 Mustang GT. It's in white. It looks to be Performance Package 1 based off the rims, but we'll get into that in a second. And then we're looking at a 2014 Mustang GT, just a, just a base model. We'll see if it's mislabeled. It could be a premium, but we'll see. But they both have 62,000 miles, the white 2017 and the black 2014. The black 2014 is basically $26,000. The white one is $27,000, so it's kind of a no-brainer. So let's do a little bit of a closer look, see if there's any accidents, see maybe number of owners. Let's try to see why CarMax has a 2014 with the same mileage for only $1,000 less than the 2017, because the 2017 is the last year, the Gen 2 Coyote, and these are both stick shift, six-speed manuals. Um, the 2017 seems like the no-brainer if you're cross-shopping these two. So let's click on the 2014 first, 62,000 miles. It is a basic cloth interior, so nothing special there. It's uh, black on black, and the shift knob looks different, and it could be a sh you know different uh, shift kit in there. You have no heated seats, you just have air conditioning, heat, standard climate control. And if we look at the uh, engine bay, okay, stock everything pretty much this strut tower bar I'm not sure that looks to be possibly aftermarket because I think the track package offered on the 2014 Mustang GT's got a aluminum strut tower bar this piece looks aftermarket this black painted steel strut tower bar cold uh, colder intake is stock because you can tell boy it says cold air induction on it with a little snowflake symbol that is absolutely with the uh, sound tube being piped into the interior. Everything looks pretty stock here in the engine bay. Let's see about possibly uh, exhaust. And these rims, factory, base model, or base rims. They're not like, they had a couple different rim options for 2014. This is just a base uh, aluminum rim. Nothing uh, fancy. They had a really nice 20 inch five spoke. Had like a machine finish. This is just your standard. I This is an 18, I would think. We can look at the details more closely. And if we look in towards the rear of the car, wow, that actually might, that's surprising. Usually every single uh, Mustang, you know, after it gets a couple years old, like people will swap out the exhaust. This could be all stock, so that is pretty impressive. Uh, there's a little bit of fading on this deck lid piece around the faux GT gas cap badge. That's pretty uh, common. But yes, $26,000. $26, Let's go into the... It might tell us the rim size specs. Now we'll probably have to see... Hmm. Get into the nitty gritty here. Okay, they are 18s. 235 wide tires on 18 inch rims. 18 by 8 inch rims. Okay, so this, I love the SN, S197 body style, but for $26,000 at 62,000 miles, when, let's go look at the 2017. So the 2017 is also cloth interior, but look, it has, if these rims are the indicator, it has performance package one. So why not? grab this one instead it's you know if it was a 2015 you might be kind of like hit or miss because 2015 was the first year of the s550 body style but this is 2017 it's the last year of the gen 2 coyote before they updated the slight uh, design of the mustang body for 2018 and introduced the gen 3 coyote with the slightly different internals of the manual transmission so this one still has the mt82 before it got slightly upgraded quote unquote but it, apparently it got worse for 2018 and beyond uh yeah i okay here's the uh, engine bay everything looks stock oh it, it has a canine sticker might have a drop-in filter but 
that's really no big deal. And it has the strut, aluminum strut tower bar with the GT logo on it. So this is another indicator. It's a performance package one. So it has the uh, little bit better handling than your standard Mustang GT of this year. Now it, you can tell it's a base model because the lower diffuser valence area is uh, the same color as the bumper. If it was blacked out, you would be able to tell that it is a premium, assuming no one changed that. But that's an easy change if you want to. If you don't like the full same body color all the way down from the deck lid look, but to me, for this price, this is this is a great place to start. Okay, so now let me look at oh single owner. This is see this is why I'm just like so thrown. So let's okay. So we're gonna look at the auto check report. One owner, no flutter frame damage, no odometer problems, none of that. Let's view the history report because this is the indicator. If it says one accident or more, it does not. Accident, no issue. Uh, state title brand, clean. Auction brandish, no issues. It does have an open recall, but I mean, you just take it to the Ford dealer when you get a chance and when they actually have time to work on it. But other than that, 61,259 miles, no accidents. A one owner car that is that's huge that is absolutely so if we scroll down further it looks like this was a this was a Virginia car okay so what's it's not like super far up north you know in the in the high upper end of the rust belt this is like almost this is basically the lower end of the rust belt so we like that of course anytime you buy a car inspect the underneath for uh, major signs of rust and you know leaks and all all those kinds of things that's standard on looking at any car but this is a this is a Virginia car no accidents one owner that's I I don't I am fully thrown this is the way way better car let's go back to the 2014 and this car is at the CarMax in um, Maryland I just said it Laurel, Maryland, yes. Okay. So, oh, this is also a one-owner car. Okay, so these are kind of like with no accidents. No recalls as well. So the this S197 2014 and that S550 2017, these two in this price range, honestly, from CarMax, are like really uh, cream of the crop in this twenty high $20,000 price range. You're not going to find a better deal in terms of the CarMax listings for Mustangs. This is a New Jersey car, and I'm always hesitant about the New Jersey cars because I just imagine the, their roads up there are just awful, pothole ridden, and you know, salty in the winter. So this one is another knock against it, and it, it's, again, it's a 2014. It is three years older than the 2017. And there's only a one thousand dollar price difference. This should absolutely be much cheaper compared to the twenty seventeen. So every once in a while, when you're looking through the Carmax uh, listings, yes, they have the no haggle price. You they they don't budge on the price. There's no negotiating. But you can every once in a while find a solid deal that uh, is kind of just hidden in there amongst all the listings. Like a while ago. This is two months ago. There was a white 2019 Mustang GT performance package two, and it was only selling for like thirty-five thousand dollars with twelve thousand miles, clean, uh, clean title, no accidents. That one was a huge, huge deal, and it went. It went very quickly. I checked a week later, and it was gone. So, whoever got that, uh, good for you. They're enjoying that. So, yeah, the 2014 versus 2017 to me, it, it's a, it's not even like. It's there's no no second thought about it. Got to go with the 2017. It's got the independent rear suspension. It's got performance package one. If the 2014 had the track package, there could be some sort of argument for that. I mean, but the 2017, it's it's just uh, it's just superior in every way. And these are in the same general region now because there's also this 2017, but it's uh, in California. A lot of the California CarMax listings tend to run a little cheaper. So this one is doesn't not appear to be a performance package one. It does have black rims, but they are the different style from the PP1. Cloth interior, 68,000 miles. So basically, you're paying the same price for this blue 2017 versus the white PP1. I would have to go 
um, the white PP1 to be honest but this one does seem to have an aftermarket exhaust by these large tips out the back but the blue is a very nice color so you gotta give them credit there and also this does not say one owner three owners okay the white the white one is just the absolute uh, best deal on here and we have an accident uh, slash damage multiple damage events moderate damage listed on the auto check report so um, it, they circled the sides the doors and the bumper we have three separate collisions one on October 20th, 2021, March 21st, 2022, and July 2nd, 2022. Wow, this car, um, this car cannot catch a break. That is uh, highly unfortunate. All in, I mean, it's a California car, so you don't have to worry about rust at all, but still, that one's going to be a no-go. So yeah, whenever you're looking through CarMax or whatever, you know, Auto Tempest, insert cars.com whatever else you're looking at always look into the nitty-gritty of oh, the mileage accidents etc he's gonna tell me my mic is off don't ignore your chat okay I'm almost done this is a video for the the car YouTube channel so I will look at the chat in just a second all right I think that about sums it up there's also a 2013 GT that one does have an accident 58,000 miles 25 grand and beyond that, it, there's a 2014 for 25 grand, 80,000 miles. This 2017, it's honestly, this is this is a sweet spot. The 2016 has turn signals in the hood vents. So if you um, if you like that little gimmick, there's that. And then lastly, before I um, section off this video for the YouTube video, I gotta take you all the way to the top because we have. A 2017 Shelby GT350R, no back seats, carbon fiber rims at CarMax. How insane is that? That you could buy this from CarMax. So this is the, the top dog currently as far as the muscle cars go. Oh, you got the Recaro seats with the R. That's, mm, that's money right there. And three owners, but we're not taking that one out because this winter on those tires, those high performance tires, that equals crash. We do not want to do that. And do I want to take another Shelby out in the springtime of 2024? Absolutely. Um, but we also have ZL1s. We also have uh, Dodge Challenger, Scat Pack wide bodies, 3,000 miles, 50 grand, free shipping to my CarMax store. Mwah, mwah. Um, if that's still around, which it won't be in the springtime, but oh, okay, I just need to end it there, so Hiya! Oh, oh, a Mach 1? Okay, okay. Thank you for watching this video more uh, VW Beetle fixing videos to come now that I got the title. Okay, so let's um